Welcome to Electra Online. In this video, we're going to take a plane that has three known points in it, point one, point two, and point three, and try to find the equation of that plane. Now, normally we need one point and the orthogonal vector, the normal vector to the plane. But if we're given three points, how do we go ahead and find the equation? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use those three points to come up with the orthogonal vector. We're going to draw a vector from point 1 to point 2 and a vector from point 1 to point 3. Notice that those two vectors, called v1 and v2, lie in the plane. If we then do a dot product with those two vectors, we'll get a third vector which will be perpendicular. Oh, not dot product. I'm wrong with the dot product. If we take a cross product with those two vectors, then we get a third vector that is perpendicular to the plane in which those two vectors lie. And that's how we find the orthogonal vector. So let's first define v1 and v2. v1 can be defined by taking the coordinates of point 2 and subtracting from those the coordinates of point 1. But in other words, v1 is equal to taking the coordinate, the x-coordinate of point 2 and subtract from that x-coordinate of point 1. That would be 3 minus 1 times the i unit vector, then plus minus 1 minus 3, that would be the j vector right here, and then we get plus 6 minus 2 in the k direction. Now notice when I simplify that, I get my first vector v1, which is equal to 2 in the i direction, minus 4 in the j direction, and plus 4 in the k direction. There's my first of the two vectors that I need. I can do the same thing now with v2. v2 can be defined as taking the coordinates of point 3, subtracted from that the coordinates of point 1. This would be equal to 5 minus 1 in the i direction, plus 2 minus 3 in the j direction, plus it would be 0 minus 2 in the k direction. And simplifying that, our second vector now becomes 4 in the i direction, minus 1 in the j direction, and minus 2 in the k direction. Let's circle that one as well. There's the two vectors. Now I can use those two vectors to find the orthogonal vector by simply doing the cross product. I can now say that the orthogonal vector is equal to the cross product of v1 multiplied times v2. Now notice, if I go v1 times v2, I have the, I'm pointing downward. I think I want to go v2 times v1, so I point upward from our perspective. I'm going to turn these around. So it's v2 times v1, and this will then be equal to, we have i, j, and k. I put down the coordinates of v2, which is 4, negative 1, negative 2. And the, uh, the coefficients here, 2, negative 4, I should say the components, 2, negative 4, and 4. 2, negative 4, and 4. So I put the v2 vector first, and then the v1 vector after that. Now, solving that, I get the following. So my normal vector is equal to i. I want the i component, so I cross out this column and, and that row, and I end up with those four elements, so it's minus 1 times 4. That would be minus 4 minus 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 8. And then we get minus the j component times, now we get rid of this column and this row, we get 4 times 4, which is 16, minus a minus 4, that would be plus 4, and then plus the k component times, get rid of this and this, we get those four elements, that's 4 times a minus 4, it's minus 16, minus a minus 2, this is plus 2. Simplifying that, my normal vector now becomes the following. I have minus 12 in the i direction, I have minus 20 in the j direction, and minus 14 in the k direction. Here's my normal vector. Now that I have my normal vector, I'm now ready to come up with the equation to describe that plane. For that, I need to have this equation right here, which means I, I will use a times x minus x sub naught plus b times y minus y sub naught plus c times z minus z sub naught, and that equals zero. Now remember that a, b, and c are the components of the normal vector x sub naught, y sub naught, z sub naught would be any point on the plane, and I can pick any of those points, so maybe I'll just go ahead and pick point number one. Which means 
that the equation now becomes the a component, which is minus 12, multiplied times x minus x of naught, which is 1, plus b, but b is a minus 20, so I get minus 20 times y minus y sub naught, so y minus y sub naught is 3, and minus, because I have a minus 14 there, 14 times z minus z sub naught, which is 2, and that adds up to 0, which means I get x plus 12 minus 20y plus 60, and I get minus 14z plus 28 equals 0. Combining all the x, y, and z's here, we get x minus 20y minus 14z, and then combining 12 and 60 is 72, 80, that's 100, plus 100 equals 0 which means that x minus 20y minus 14z is equal to minus 100, and that would then be the equation of this particular plane. Again, provided that the points on the plane are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, using that to find the orthogonal vector, and then using this equation to find the scalar equation of that particular plane. And that's how that's done.